So we're going to have a quick look at this one from the homework about a bird catcher that we've got here. Um, so everything is relative to a fixed origin. And we've got here where the bird watcher is. Um, so that's a particular point. I'm going to call them W for watcher. Uh, the bird watcher is able to spot any bird that flies within 500 metres. Well, notice this is in kilometres, so I would probably be thinking that as 0.5 kilometres now for the rest of the question. A kestrel flies from A to B, where points A and B have these position vectors. So here's the bird watcher. Here's A and here's B, where the kestrel is flying between, like this. I don't know why it's flying to the left on my board. Why don't I switch it around and have the kestrel flying in a way that feels a bit more logical, going from A to B? coming along this line. Um, and the kestrel is modelled as flying in a straight line. Use the model to determine whether the bird watcher is able to spot the kestrel. So what's it actually asking for us to find out here? Shortest Great, so what we want to do is the shortest distance. Okay, I'm going to try and do this quickly because it sounds like you've all done this. So first of all, I need to figure out the general point on the line. So I'm going to begin by finding AB, which is B minus A, which is 1201.2 minus 350. So we should get 9 minus 5, 1.2. So the equation of the line is R equals one of the points, 1201.2, plus 9 lambda minus 5 lambda and plus 1.2 lambda. Now I'm going to try and find out the vector between a general point. So I'll call the general point C. I don't really mind what you want to call it. And then the bird watcher W, which is 540.7. So if I find the vector C, W, in fact, I'm going to do the vector W, C, just because it makes my life easier to do the general point C minus the general point W. So it's this one minus this thing that we've got over here. I'm going to dive straight in and get 7 plus 9 lambda and then minus 4 minus 5 lambda, and then 0.5 plus 1.2 lambda. Is that correct? And I know that WC dotted with AB is equal to 0, because those are the things that are perpendicular. So I'm going to do this one multiplied by 9. So that's 63 plus 81 lambda. This one multiplied by minus 5, which is plus 20, plus 25 lambda. And this one multiplied by 1.2 which is 0.6 plus 1.44 lambda, and that is all equal to zero. So we end up with, what's that, 106, 107.44 lambda is equal to, that's 83.6 minus 83.6. Yeah, is that the, all the numbers that you've got so far? I did a different... You did a different... Okay, so we'll find out if we've got the same thing when we get right to the end then, yeah? Okay, so that's 83.6, or minus 83.6, divided by 107.44. I hope I haven't made any mistakes in my head here with all of these calculations. So that's minus 1045 over 1343. Now, what you might like to do here, because some of the numbers are a bit, are a bit annoying because we're trying to find out the distance CW, you might actually like to work out, if you wanted to, if this looks easier to Pythagorize, then go with that. But I don't know if it's necessarily going to be easier to Pythagorize. So I think actually I'll stick with what I'm going to do. So WC is 7 plus 9 lots of that. This is horrible. Minus 2.978 times 10 to the minus 3. And then I've got minus 4 plus this. And then I get here, this is minus 147 over 1343. And then I've got minus 1165 over 2686. So if I want to find out the distance WC, well, this is going to be fun. So it's that squared plus that squared plus that squared. Let's see if we've now all got the same answer as each other. So I get 0 0.447 kilometers. Okay, so 
It's just horrible numbers because it tends to be like real life stuff. So we need a conclusion now. Does the bird watcher spot the kestrel? Yeah. So we say yes, because WC is less than 0.5 kilometers. So the bird watcher does spot the kestrel. Just happened to be some quite unpleasant numbers there, but you can store numbers in your calculator, yeah, write something like that. Um, I'm just, I don't use the, fra I never use the fraction button. Ever, 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 I hate the fraction button. I just you know I just put divide in instead and know how that, that works. So it doesn't have to be because because it didn't actually say find the distance the shortest distance between the bird and the kestrel. It doesn't matter if our rounding has gone a little bit off here or there because we're just trying to show whether it's bigger than 0 0.5 or less than 0 0.5. And what about a criticism of the model that we could say here? Yeah, the bird is unlikely to fly in a straight line. Um, yeah, it doesn't take anything about visibility into account. Um, the bird is being modelled as a particle. The bird has actually got dimensions. There's lots of different things. I think the best one to say is that the bird doesn't necessarily fly in a straight line. Okay.